organization. We are, we are looking at uh, the complete value chain. I'll basically not repeat what has been said, but looking at the complete value chain in production, basically from pro production up to, up to, up to value addition. And we are saying that there's, a, there's, a, there's an opportunity mechanization. The country suffers from mechanization. We have very low mechanization percentage. So the country, the, the, the government is now putting an effort in, in trying to mechanize this country, mechanize the, the farming activities. Basically, we, this is provision of machinery and related implements. In fact, next next week we are, we are we are rolling out an ambitious program for mechanization where the Italian Italian government Italian, Italian companies can also participate. We want to bring a mechanization mechanization percentage up to around fifty percent from the current thirty percent thirty twenty five percent. So this is an opportunity that is quite wide. We've realized that uh, the level of mechanization in the country is quite low. Therefore, we are we, we are not very competitive in terms in terms of production. So this is an area where the government is putting a lot of a lot of effort. The other area is agro processing. We've realized that as a country, we need to add, we need to add to support our farmers, support our, our, our producers to add value in whatever they are doing, so that we can, we can stop exporting raw material. So there are there are, there are a lot of opportunities in, in, in agro processing. The, we have established six national hubs that will be private sector driven in the in the various in the various sector in the various areas. I'm sorry, go ahead, I'm sorry. Richard, you're muted, please unmute. Richard, can you unmute? Sorry, uh, am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, we can, please go on. Can you hear me? I... Yes, we can. Yes, I, I'm saying that we have a lot of opportunities in our processing, allow me to repeat that. And we are taking very many value chains. We talk about macadamia, we talk about avocado, horticulture, beef. All these value chains require 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 grow processing. So so these are a very a very open area. The government has created about six major hubs in the country that will be basically agriculture hubs. So an Italian company can can invest in them. They'll be a bit. They'll behave like they 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 they'll be a a bit of economic zones that are protected and therefore we can be able to link the farming community in those areas and and, uh, and add value. Now, the other thing we're looking at is the, is, the, is the crop production itself. We have a lot of land that is idle, that is not, that is that, that is under the government. So the government is leasing this to private sector to enable them to produce. Can you go back? We are moving quite fast. Go I'm back. Sorry. I'm sorry, let's go back. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Is it this one? No, no, back, 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 back. Do you want the, the previous slide again? Is it this one? Yeah, this one, this one now. Did you look at this, this slide? We have the yeah, this okay. slide is okay. Yes. But just tell me next when you want me to move to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, can you we go down? I think we are moving too fast. Richard. Yes, I can hear you. I, I don't know. We are moving without my... Let's go to the next one. This was the first one. Let's go to the next one. This one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying that the government has a lot of land. We are leasing through a, 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 a framework we're listening to private sector for, oh, I think it's moving on its own. Yes, we are saying that the government has a lot of land that we are listening to private sector to be able to, to, do, to do crop production. So Italian companies that, that, are, that, are, that are producing can, can have an opportunity, get an opportunity of investing in our, in our, in our, in our land. And doing farming themselves. Now the other thing of I don't want to talk about agri-marketing, agri agri-business. There's a lot of a lot of marketing that we talked about. Um, there, there is a lot of uh, at the end of value chain the post harvest. Let me talk. I'm happy that we're working close with Italian companies and in, in coming up with with drying facilities for the whole country. Basically, we need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to invest a lot in storage, 
and, uh, and, and drying facilities. The other areas that are, that are, that are key uh, include now investment in edible oil and fish production and processing, the leather that we talked about, livestock products, and, and so many other things, including the dairy and the beef products. Basically, there's a wide range of, uh, wide range of, of, of opportunities in, uh, in agriculture. And I think, uh, and, and I think uh, it, 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 it's open. To produce, the government has come up with, a, with an ambitious program of, 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 of water harvesting. Uh, we have a hundred that, that are being to private to be to, to private on PPP. So in Italian companies can also, can also, can also join us in, in investing in, in new water facilities so that we can do, we can do proper, proper irrigation. Uh, most of this land, Kenya being Nassau, most of this land require, require water. So basically, uh, the dams will be able to support the, the, the irrigation infrastructure that will be in the country. So in this area of, of water harvesting and irrigation, there is a lot of there is a lot and a lot of a lot, a lot required. So there is a lot that we might work with the with the with the, with the, with the companies that are uh, that are coming from 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 from, from Italy from Italy. So basically, we are looking at a complete value chain. We are looking at all aspects. So production right from crop up to up to up to the end. And we feel that in all those aspects, there are a lot of, there are a lot of opportunities for investment at um, storage facilities at the end product, after packaging, after producing the storage facilities. And we have come up with a warehouse system where we are we are we are we are, we are, we are trying to construct. I mean to invest in warehouse, warehouse regulated warehouse system that are where 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 facilities that are able to that are able to facilitate farmers in in in, in you know in marketing of these facilities. So we have a lot of public uh, facilities. We are a lot we are a lot of of, of other you know government and 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 and, and, and farmer facilities. We also we also encouraging the investors to come on board with with many other facilities. For storage facility to be able to store whatever is available, so so there are various opportunities that are available, and uh, we really feel that we can work closely with the with the with the private sector from 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 Italy and be able to look at at all those and all those those those, those, those aspects. Uh, we have talked aspects of crop production. We have talked aspects of you know the machinery itself. We have talked the aspects of agro processing, and the marketing aspects of it. So basically, it's a wide area, and we feel that uh, that 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 we can we can work closely with you. Now, what are we doing? On the on, the, on that we have come with a framework that is suitable to, to 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 encourage investors to come on board. So we have PPP, which is which 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 is now developed. We can work with them. We are also also sourcing for support, you know, bilateral support from various uh, various companies. I think from various governments. So I think the Italian the Italian companies that are, that can also use that route to be able to support to, to, to work with us, so I can be able we can be able to to move forward. So basically, there are a lot of opportunities in agriculture, and we feel that uh, you know, in when you work we work with you, we'll be able to to, to, to do a lot. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, engineer. Uh, thank you, all the uh, panelists. I think uh, we have a few minutes left. I would just want to give an opportunity to each uh, panelist to just give us a parting shot. I'll start with uh, Esther. Just, just give us a, a parting shot, something you might have uh, forgotten. Esther? Thank you very much. Uh, Kenya is open for business. And uh, we have a growing uh, middle class and we have room other than just the exports, we have a domestic market that can be serviced with your partnership and especially on the packaging. Welcome, let's do business in Kenya, let's do this. Thank you. Thank you, Esther, Angel. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Parting uh, a parting shot for from EPZ is Kenya is open for business and we are ready to partner with the Italian trade agency and especially in the construction of warehouses that's what we have seen is a bit of a challenge for for the current investors most of them want a plug and play situation but if you are able to get investors who are ready to build warehouses for lease 
to other EPZ companies, that will be um, a good thing, yeah. Thank you. Industry, Elijah. Uh, once again, uh, we welcome you all to Kenya. Uh, we are not restricting ourselves to whatever I'd said before, but uh, we also have an opportunity in mining. Mining sector, because we have a lot of uh, mines in the, the country, if we can get partnership to extract more, thank you very much. You're welcome. And uh, thank you for your undivided attention. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Minister of Agriculture. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm Kanui. And um, mine is just to say that we are open. There are opportunities everywhere. When you look at, uh, at, at, at what we are doing, there are opportunities for investment. We will facilitate whoever is around to be able to work together with them, and then uh, we'll be able to support our farming community. Otherwise, they, there are very many advantages, so many, so many facilities that are available to support. So Welcome. We'll be able to engage whoever is, whoever is willing. Thank you so much. Lucy, I'm sorry. I think we may have a question from a gentleman. Maybe we can just submit one quick question since we are in advance. Yes, 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 we, we, we can. Okay. okay. So I'm going to habilitate the microphone of Mr. Renzo Piracini. Please pose your question, Mr. Piracini. Thank you. Thank you. We cannot hear you. Can you activate your microphone again, please, Mr. Piracini? Yes, sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. I am a president of uh, Macfoot Exhibition. It's one uh, exhibition dedicated to the uh, supply chain, fruit and vegetables. And we have many, many uh, um, Kenyan exhibitors. Uh, we are very happy. Uh, we have a very good relation with Kenya and we want to increase this relation. Uh, um, I, 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 I stay in the next... Uh, trip in in this in december in uh, in uh, in kenya and in this uh, time we want to sign the one agreement uh, thank you at, uh, ambassador uh, excellency uh, jacqueline young because uh, we want to sign uh, one agreement with the uh, minister of agriculture of kenya for uh, for cooperate more uh, 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 um, Kenya support the uh, invest in, in exhibitors in Macfruit and Macfruit uh, are interesting to organize one event dedicated to the uh, fruit and vegetables uh, technical events but also uh, exhibitors with exhibitors with for B2B uh, with the Italian company and the Kenyan company in uh, in November, October, November, uh, 2024. And I am, uh, uh, thank you for this opportunity and I hope uh, the cooperation uh, into Macfruit and, and Kenyan company increase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, allow me to also welcome our, our ambassador to just say something to his agri sector. Ambassador. Uh, thank you very much. I was not expecting to speak, but I will say something uh, in the agri sector because uh, for sure, the way the president of Macfruit has said, uh, the agri business in Italy is something we can benchmark a lot because they have small holder, they have agri tech, they have uh, technology, um, agri um, agriculture mechanisms. And so their model of, 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 of agriculture, agri business, Resonates very well. Mi dispiace, ma parlo poco italiano. Sorry, yes, I was interrupted. Uh, sorry, I'm suspecting that is a warning, but we continue. Oh, oh it's a warning. Yes, yeah, but yeah. So, so um, as you had the president of uh, of Mark Fruit talking about. He has a very big network. So we've been doing the fruits and vegetables. I went to that platform, and what we wanted is for our Accessibility of this market depends on the technology that we can uh, we can tap from this market. He's one of the instrumental people that can actually build that capacity, both through the universities as well as practical uh, interactions. That MOU will unlock three quarters of all this. And then that's what I identified that even for 
the platform of food itself, our, our, our fruits and vegetables, our horticulture are not able to because of standards, because of that mechanization. So it would be very, very important for us to go that route for now. Thank you very much, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. We need to unlock that. We yes. are blessed with a country that we can grow. So if you can start to agriculture and have quality storage facilities, and then we just do the route to market, I think we, we will get there. Thank you, Ambassador. And I think from this forum, we have come to the end. Thank you. And I think back to the admin. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Lucy Common, for your great moderation. It was a uh... We are perfectly on time. I'm going to share this now uh, a screen again, and we will wait for our breakout rooms to close and move back to the main session. So a couple of minutes of patience, and we will all be moving back to the main session for the final part. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.